Hey everybody, it's Brandy back again, and today's video is going to be another wig review. This one is on the Model Model Lace Front Endless Collection. It's this. And this one is the Love Wig in 28. Well, it's called Love 28, so yeah. Can't really see it, but it's right here. Love 28, so 28 inches. I have had this wig sitting um, because I wanted to wait to unbox it on camera like I always do. Y'all know that's really what I believe in. If you're new to my channel, I love to unbox all my wigs on camera so that you know what it looks like because a lot of times you get reviewers who just kind of show you how it looks after they've customized it. I want to show you what it looks like right off the bat. So, go ahead and take off the fishnets and all of the extra packaging in here. So first off, I love the texture. It has like that yakky type of texture uh, already. It is really shiny, but it's not bad. I guess because the yakky texture, I mean, it's, it's not that bad, honestly. Let's look at the construction, guys. So the construction is pretty basic, which is the two combs kind of off to the side a little bit behind the lace. And then you have your comb in the back and adjustable straps as well. Again, pretty standard. I'm gonna back the camera up a little bit so you can kind of see the full force of this because it is a long unit as well. All right, so first things first. This wig is small head friendly. Let me tell you, putting it on, I thought I was expecting this to be a little bit more um, little bit bigger and it was slide on easy but it really is a very firm fit now that's a good thing on my on my behalf because I don't have to use the adjustable straps immediately um, but for somebody who has a bigger head you might not like the fit of this it's just really tight so this is the wig all the way up honestly it's super cute I like Ooh. trying to figure the tangle my fingers didn't go through it's effortlessly as I thought it might have. So a negative already is when you put it on there is no parting space in it already. So you're gonna have to create a parting space if you would like that. I honestly like parting space so yeah this is gonna be some work for me just to tweeze it. Honestly that isn't even a lot of work. It's really not that big deal. My issue is and I'm gonna zoom it in so y'all can see this there's little to no parting space like for you to actually customize this. It's literally one inch of parting space in here. Let me show y'all. This is like the front of the lace. So from here to here, like there's no flipping parting space right here. Not liking that at all really, especially because it's a straight unit. If this was curly, this wouldn't bother me at all because it wouldn't even matter. But this matters to me. I, we're going to see how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to customize this, try to tweeze this the best of my ability, and I will be right back. All right, it's been a couple days, well, it's been like a week, two weeks, since I've visited this wig, and I wanna go ahead and give my opinion on it. Let's first put off, it's not a bad wig. I think the construction wasn't the best, Yes. First, I want to apologize to Model Model because yes, or Model Model, however you pronounce it, you've sent me the wig a while ago and I'm trying to get to it, but I really wanted to make sure that I understood the wig because at first I didn't like it. Let's put it out there. The part of space was too small. Y'all know me. I need a little more part of space. I need it to look a little bit more realistic because I don't like to have my hair out like at all. And my hair is very thin and because I don't put any product on it like um, as far as like any heat or anything, I don't put any heat on it. It's very, very curly from the root all the way to the end. So I wasn't understanding how to style it or to do anything to it because it's like, what am I supposed to do with this? Like I had to make a little part and honestly, this is all the party space you're gonna get. I didn't tweeze or anything, I put concealer. It is a little bit thinner at the top so I could do that. It's very silky, it has a little bit of volume up at the top and that's because, and I found this out today, there's fillers in here. So don't get too crazy as far as trying to comb it or style it too different because these little fillers will pop up because that happened to me today. 
And depending on your head shape, it's gonna look funny. Like, I don't know, it looks funny to me. Or is that just me? I don't know, it's like, it's like a big hump right here. If you like wearing your hair out, I would recommend doing this as a half wig. I think it will be a dope ponytail wig because since the partner space is really little, if you have hair that kind of matches this, and by the way, the texture is kind of like a, I wouldn't say it's yakky, but it's thick enough that it will, um, it will blend in with, you know, people's natural hair like texture. So if you wanted to, you could pop this in the ponytail in a bat or something like this. Like even this to me is cute. Nothing wrong with a ponytail wig and it's hot, it's a summertime and a ponytail wig is probably needed. If your hair is long enough, you can actually pull it back and kind of make this ponytail in with your hair and it'll kind of go into the long version of your hair. Something really quick though, like if you wanted to like have a long sleeve ponytail for an event or something, this would be a really cute hair to do it with. It does matte at the bottom with it being so long and it being so hot and it touching areas like this end is gonna be an issue. Just gonna put that out there. Like I can feel it now and I've literally worn, worn this wig twice. Um, the first time that you saw the first few clips and then the, this time right now. Again, I don't wanna say that I hate it cause I don't, it's not that bad, but it's just not personally for me. The wig is a little bit snug when I put it on from my head and y'all know I have a small head so I know this might not be suitable for everybody but it's gonna feel like a half wig. What they should have put on the bag is that it's more of a half wig anyway. Like that's really what it is. The lace, that wasn't even needed. They What they should do is if they want to, honestly they should start making the half wigs kind of like this putting a lace on it so you kind of get some type of party space. So if you wanted to pull it up, you could, but if you want to pull it back, it works just as well. But um, yeah, like just say, that put a half wig with a lace in front of it. I think that works better in my opinion. Cause this, I don't know what the motivation was of making a wig with lace an inch and a half. Not even, probably a full inch of lace in the front. Why? Then it's synthetic. It's not like I'm finna make baby hairs with this. Don't get me wrong, you probably could, but who wants to slick down synthetic baby hairs on their forehead? I'll wait. Doesn't make sense. So I understand what they were trying to do with this. I really do. And again, a little bit of concealer would make it a little really cute. You know, it makes it really easy. One of those quick and easy hairstyles. I definitely could see me wearing this like if I was going out at night or something. Nobody looking at your ends like that at night anyway, so that will, it wouldn't be that bad. And again, to wear with the hat, and if I wanted to do one of these or something, and just, you know, pop a hat on top. Y'all know I'm, I'm good for hats, man. Well, hat. I still gotta buy more hats, y'all. There's nothing wrong with popping a hat on, like, you wanna be cute in the face, you wanna spend all your time on your makeup and not your hair. This would be a good wig for that. And where the wigs, the wig clips in the front are positioned, I don't even use those clips. Like when I put the wig on today, I didn't use those clips because again, the wigs, the wig clips are so far back. I'm pulling my wig cap all the way back, like up back here instead of where I normally have it, like all the way up here. But honestly, guys, that's my opinion on the hair. And I feel like I took so long to say so little, but I think now that I have the time, I really could explain how I feel in the correct words because at first I really didn't know how to describe the wig and that's why it took me so long because I'm like what the heck I'm supposed to do with this and I don't want to bash a wig because I don't like it I need reasons of why it doesn't work now again this is my personal opinion for myself but I'm pretty sure that somebody could work this wig and somebody can make this work for them uh again if you got natural hair and you want to make this into like a slick back ponytail that'll be dope because I think it'll be really cute and I had that in mind but my hair don't slick back y'all my hair is really natural. I'm pretty sure y'all seen videos and y'all be like, dang, why her hair looks so nappy on the side? Well, it's because my kinks don't like to lay down. They don't like to be tamed. So that's it. Well, let me stand up so y'all can see. So it goes like right here, and my belly button's like right there. So, but yeah, guys, that's really it. Nice. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.